In tonight's Health Watch, a remarkable procedure to correct a birth defect and prevent brain damage. And what's amazing is the surgery is done on the fetus while the baby is still in the womb. CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez tells us how and why it was done. The birth defect, called spina bifida, was found during a routine sonogram like this one at about 18 weeks of pregnancy. The spinal column doesn't form normally and it doesn't close around the spinal cord. That can lead to the brain partly collapsing out of the skull, backing up spinal fluid and preventing normal brain development. In this case, doctors at the Cleveland Clinic decided on a rare procedure to prevent brain damage in a fetus. They would try to repair the spina bifida defect by operating on the baby in the womb what they call in utero fetal surgery. Dr. Daryl Cass, director of fetal surgery at Cleveland Clinic, explains why. The back of the brain normalizes. The cerebellum goes back into its normal anatomic position, and that's because we've sealed the leak of this CSF fluid. And that doesn't seem to happen when the operation is done after birth. Here's what they did. At about 23 weeks of pregnancy, surgeons exposed the mother's uterus. Ultrasound determined the exact position of the baby girl. Then a small incision was made in the amniotic sac right above the lower spine so that doctors could then suture several layers of tissue to cover and close the open spine. Then the uterus was closed up and the baby girl was delivered by C-section at near full term on June 2nd. Her back repair is perfect. Perfectly intact. She does not require any more operations. Um, there's no sign of hydrocephalus. Although the surgery was a success, children with spina bifida will still have disabilities. So the baby girl will likely need ongoing care from physical therapists, neurologists, and other specialists. But this extraordinary procedure likely prevented permanent brain damage and gave the young child a much improved quality of life. Dr. Max Gomez, CBS 2 News.